I'm Sasha Palmer, and I got next. You next up, and you ain't been on Sports Like Talk? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, and you up next. Keep the going so hard. Rock the star on the big scene. Make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat. Don't settle for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to say go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask beat Joker, head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. T Nation, what it do, fam? Welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. That's right. It is season four, the year of the Mamba. And KT and I, we are ten toes down, going coast to coast, and we're finding you amazing human beings, rising superstars, future sensations who are doing big things and accomplishing big. Dreams and today, cha ching, we hit the jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. We got a true titan in the building, one of the dopest builders of programs. We're talking about somebody with close to 25 years of coaching experience, probably over 40 years' experience in basketball in general. And she is taking the nation by storm with new endeavors, helping individuals all over the country from her scouting projects to her evaluation projects. She is part of the McDonald's All-American Committee, the Morgan Wooten Committee. She has her own company, the Blueprint Scouting, where she is the CP CEO. Y'all make some noise for one of my favorite coaches in the country. Hey, a true, true Titan. Y'all make some noise for the CEO, Sasha Palmer. <laughs> Coach Sasha, how you feeling today? I'm great. Every day. Thank you. How you guys doing? Every day. I don't know, Coach. I'm, I get a little nervous around you. Coach, y'all don't want to say Coach don't play. It's hard to get a smile out of you Coach. You get nervous oh. me? <laughs> what, what you say, Coach? You get nervous around me? Oh, I get nervous around you every time, Coach. You, 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 you a bad, bad lady. You the truth, Coach. You know, I, well, I appreciate I, it. Yeah, I, I kind of put you up there with that Don and that, that, that you know, what I'm saying that Tarva. You, you up there with the greats, Coach. And, and yeah, because I you mean, do AAU, I appreciate it. thank you. Because I you do, that, but I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, y'all, when y'all crack open a history, y'all are gonna see somebody who is a true legend and icon. But if this is your first time checking out the show, Wisconsin, y'all throw me some cheese yeah. curds. Let's make some noise. I. I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones, the OG, all things Louisiana. We'll put your L's up. Mr. Yee is in the building, and I'm rocking alongside of my brother from another mother, the other side of the logo, the quiet storm. Shh. All facts, no cap. The head coach, KT. Cam, we got Coach Palm in the building. I'm feeling like a million bucks. You looking like a million bucks, man. What's up? What's happening, fam? How you feeling? You said like every time you see, you've met her before. This is my first time ever meeting uh, Coach Palmer B. Jones. That's right. That's right. This is our first time rocking with Coach Palmer. <laughs> you know, I feel great, B. Jones. Let's, let's go, man. Let's turn up. Let's tell Miss Palmer's story. Let's go. KT, you got a, you got a glass of water over there so we can hold it up. Just look at us. Look at us, brother. Look at us. Look at what. Look at what we able to do, man. We got a, We got a, a beast in the building. All right, Coach Palmer. You know what time it is. We kick the show off with the moment of truth. This is our version of two truths and a lie. As an icebreaker, Coach Palmer has prepared three facts about herself, and this is the deal. One of those facts is not a truthful statement. Kevin and I will work as a team and have exactly sixty seconds to deliberate and try to try to do use the process process of elimination and figure out which one of these facts is not the truth all right coach give us your three facts and, and kevin good, good luck brother hey let's 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 try to get back on the winning side of things as our record stands at probably about what 29 and 4 29 and 38 or something like that kt uh, you gave us too many wins, but yeah, it's somewhere around oh, okay. now. Let's go. Yeah, we, we struggling though we struggling we below 500 all right here we go coach we ready for you 
All right, let me see. Um, I'm not going to do anything basketball, I don't think. Let me see if I can get you guys. Um, see, that's what we did all our studying. All we know is the basketball. Oh, we, we're right, in trouble. Let me see. Um, um, I was a wildcat in college. Um, I'm 42 years old. And I have two kids. All right, KT. I. I, okay, I love that. the age one, B. Jones, because we yeah, don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, mama taught us better than that. So, so we gonna we, we gonna leave forty two where forty two at. Uh, now the thing is, KT, I did see a bio where she had one child, but this is the thing: that bio was like years old. So I I don't know if since that bio was put out, if she's had another child. I think she so told that one in, throw us off, B. Jones. You, you think it's the kid one? You think it's because I know for a fact that uh, that she a monster. So <sighs> let's go. Let's yeah, go with I, that I, one, I, I, Coach. I hope, I hope it ain't another. I hope it ain't two kids running around there. But Coach, we gonna say that you only got one kid, and that the fact number three was the untruth. Um, you were actually saying it right. I um had my uh, I have two kids, uh, a thirteen year old girl. And a two-year-old boy. So, oh, the two-year-old! I knew it. I that's knew what she it. said. She was like, I don't know if he actually had another one, but yeah. Golly, I was looking at the Wisconsin when you were coaching up there. Oh, that hurts, Kevin. That hurts. Oh my goodness. So, which one was the untruth, Coach? I'm 45 and not 42. So when you guys didn't touch the age, I was. <laughs> I knew I was good. Well, we were being respectful, Coach. We can't no, just no, say, I, you know. I thought you guys were going to say like 30-something, but you didn't even touch it. So but, I was like, oh. Uh, but, but here's the thing, B. Jones. We did a show not too long ago with somebody that looks exactly like her. <laughs> and I don't remember any of this. I'm just saying. I don't remember any of this. Hey, and I, th- I, think we, I think we sucked on that moment of truth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I think I think we, yeah. we missed on that one too. So we, we over two. We over two with Coach Palmer. But Coach Palmer, you already know what time we it is. On that one too. <laughs> we missed on that one as well. We got we gotta get better. We gotta do better, Coach. We're gonna let you train us a little bit to help us to get in game shape. But y'all or know I'm what just you- a good liar, apparently. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I ain't touching that one. I ain't touching that one either. I'm already afraid of you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, here we go, Coach. Let's if you're listening to this and you're watching this right now, take your right hand, reach it up reach high we need you to take that right hand lift over your left shoulder coach grab that seat belt and strap up it is time to go to work click clack turn up the volume turn up the noise we're about to go on a crazy expedition this is going to be a phenomenal show i am super excited about this one and if this is your first time or if this is your 40th time listening to the sports life talk we need y'all out there to do us a huge favor we need y'all to throw us a bone and do the slt trinity that's right we are attacking the titans and we are going up against the industry and we need you to help us to move this rock up a mountain by doing three big things that won't cost you a penny that's right number one we need you to smash that subscribe button kevin and i the hardest working podcast in the game we're gonna give you over 200 podcasts this year we already up to like 60 something and we just now in march so hey the, hey the best is yet to come keep rocking with us number two we need you to hit that like button because uh that's the way the algorithm works ladies and gentlemen the mark zuckerberg and elon musk said that's what matters so when you hit that like button this show just bubbles all the way up to the top of the algorithm and number three, last but not least, Sharon is Karen. We know that there's a lot of people that you know that they don't know. The six degrees of Kevin Bacon, send this to as many people as you possibly can and let them know about Coach Palmer. And I promise you, they're going to look back and be like, you told me. You told me it was some cooking up, up over there in Carolina with an amazing coach. Coach Palmer. Is Wisconsin going to rock with us? Is, is CP3, the Carolina Flames, going to hold us down? Are, are we going to get some Absolutely. love from your side of the water? Absolutely. All right, y'all know Absolutely. what to do. Let's go to work. Let's make some noise for your boys on the count of three. Let's do it like you're true to it. One, two, three. Boo! Kevin, 
I'm running on fumes right now, and I still love this part of the show. Hey, I, I get excited every time we do that because that means we got some new members of the Sports Life Talk family lining up, coming through the doors. We got to give everybody a hug that came through the door. Coach Palmer, what is your favorite emoji right now that you are using that you are using when you communicate to, to players, coaches, families? Well, what's that? What's that go-to emoji that you're using right now? Uh, probably like a fist bump. All right, the fist bump yeah. emoji. Y'all know which one it is. Throw the fist bump emoji in the chat if you did any of those three things. Because Kevin and I, we consider you family. That's right. Sports Life Talk family is a big thing to us. We don't do fans. We don't do followers. We only do family. So if you did any of those three, we want to tell them what KT. Thank you. Thank you. That is right. All right, Chef Palmer. We got you. You forget, you thought I forgot about Chef Palmer. No, we got Chef Palmer in the building. We're about to cook up a special one for you guys. Let's go. Welcome to the Sports Life Talk Initiation. B. Jones, I'm still in my feelings because if we just said, hey, coach, you look older than 42, we would have been in a no win <laughs> situation. That wasn't hey. right. Even if Coach would have let us off the hook, we would have got all kind of nasty comments. Man, I mean, yeah, we look older than 42, man. No, I'm 40 for life. Yeah, so you're 40 for life. You, you're 40 yes. for life. Yeah. Hey, but I got to tell you, I know there's a man out there going to be mad about it, but Coach, you do 45. Chef's kiss. You oh, do 45 you. good, Coach. Thank you, because that two-year-old be aging me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. All right, to initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. Um, Beyonce, Mary J, Usher. I mean, I live in Atlanta, probably a little baby right now. Um... <laughs> um I don't know. I could switch it up and go like Lady Gaga, Adele. I like them too. I like I like a different range of music. But which one are you gonna pick for your fifth? Uh, Lady Gaga. All right. So what we like to do, Coach, we like to rank everybody's top five and how she can get his ten. Now they gave you two points higher if you didn't throw a little baby in there. But B Jones. Let's give her 22. We're going to give her 22 oh, for her. It's little baby who hurt it? <laughs> yeah, little baby hurt it. <laughs> you don't live in Atlanta, everybody. It's little baby I, I, for anybody in Atlanta, but of course I'm a shit. No, little baby, I'm in Atlanta. I like little baby. I, I'm a, I, you get two from me, coach, because I, yeah. I like little baby. So. Give 22 right now. Do not give her 24. Give her 22 right now. Which, Oh, I know that was 22. Uh, you may have cheated, coach. It was 22. Do the recount. That was a Louisiana 22, coach. You may want to go and count that. All right, so who is your favorite superhero and why? Batman. Batman. Now you can give it up to me. Uh, <laughs> give it up to now. You say no to Batman? He, he loves Batman. He uh, loves my favorite Batman. superhero. He gave yeah. you two more. Oh, Batman. Um, again, I go back to, I have a two-year-old boy, so he's in the superheroes right now, and just Batman is Batman. He saves the city, you know? The Batmobile, everything. So he's, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely Batman. I'm more Batman. I'm not Spider-Man kind of girl. <laughs> yeah. The Good movies, everything. Batman's just better. It's black. He's in all black. I mean, I'm in all black right now. <laughs> Batman. Look at that, B. Joe. All right, so we asked the superhero question because we see coaches as superheroes, and you know superheroes have their own theme song. So what would your theme music be? I mean, right now, probably, which is, I have a foundation called Sincerely Savage, so probably Savage by Beyonce. The hey, I like that. I like that. Savage. Mm -hmm. That's with Megan Thee Stallion, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's with Megan Thee Stallion, yeah. I was. I'll hope you picked that one, but that's the one I had in my head. I go to Houston on Monday for the McDonald's All American Game. They're both from Houston. Um, so right now, that and that's part of my life, by Savage. Kevin, that's kind of cool. We got three. You got next alumni that'll be there. We got Coach KP Kenneth Pinnell will be there. What well, four? Jay, Jason Key will be down there. Standaloose, uh, Coach Standaloose. We just uh, we just had him on. So that's that's amazing. We got we got some nice. Re you got next representation down there at, uh, at the McDonald's All American. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but B. Jones is much McDonald's. We eat on the road. Why we ain't there yet, man? We, we got some more work to do. Live right down the street. Come so we live right now. We got to get some credentials, Coach. You got to yeah, make we a get in free. You know, I, I'm on a teacher salary, and B. Jones, yeah, <laughs> we ain't got the money. Let me work on that. I'm being serious too. All right. Oh yeah. snap! Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna ask her. Mm-hmm. All right, let me get let me get serious on this show now. <laughs> All right, Coach. So we have a running debate on our show where I want to be a singer and B. Jones wants to be the dancer. So we need for you to break the tie. Would you rather be a singer or a dancer? Singer, absolutely. Oh, I had, to, I had to get another ding. I, was <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't buzzing on coach. I ain't buzzing, coach. I ain't hitting no with the buzzer. I mean, you definitely can't buzz now, B. Jones. But hey, you know shit. What? I'll be but, running. As soon as I see Coach Palmer, you had a whistle in the head. Hey, no, B. Jones, get on that line. Yeah, she's trying to put us down, B. Jones. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, that's give right. Her all the things. We're going to have no money out this episode. So, <laughs> what is something that basketball has taught you that you can use when you're not on the court? Um, leadership, hard work, discipline, um, just a, a, a regimen every day. I'm very, um, I'm very disciplined in what I do, um, whether it be to you know, I teach my daughter to, you don't leave a shopping cart in the parking lot. You go put it back, just little things, um, clean up the car when you're done, just, you know, make your bed, little things. So definitely discipline and just, um, trying to lead people. It's just, you know, as you get older in life, you just learn how different leaderships, um, take, take you into things like just whether it be into my foundation, to my scouting service, to on the court, it's how you, you know, you win in life with people. So, um, I'm a big believer in that. So. As I get older, just leadership with that and, and definitely discipline. Now, B. Jones, I see why you said you were scared of her. She's talking oh, about you better yeah. make that bed, the trash better be out. Hey, that, 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 I don't, it's about teaching her. Like, it doesn't always happen. Trust me, probably more often than not. But, it, it you know, she definitely does the shopping cart. Making the bed. That, sh- that shopping cart thing is a uh, it's it's a real morals check. I like if I'm yeah. with you, because I, I used to be one of the people that would just leave it out, and uh, I, I don't know who I heard talking about. It was like if you got to remember what what all go into this. It's more than just leaving a shopping cart yeah. out. It's it's kind of an ethics thing, right? It's like yeah. when nobody's looking, are you going to do the right thing? Are you going to right. go a few extra steps just to do the right? It's it's bigger than just a shopping cart. That's a huge test of somebody's character. And I have a sign up. I have a sign right here. It says characters who you are when no one's watching. Yep. So, that's that's that know, shopping so cart beer. Just, yeah. Trying to teach her that. But yeah, that's what I've learned. Just discipline. And there's times where you don't, it, I'm from Wisconsin. It might be cold out. It might be, <laughs> you just want to leave it. But um, yeah. So probably those two things. Definitely. All right. So B and I, we're going to produce a movie that's centered around you. The one thing we're missing is a lead actress. Who should we get to play you in the story of your life? Oh, what is her name? She's married to Justin Timberlake. Jessica Beale. Beale. That's who I would say. I'll take that. I had I get that a lot too from other people. So that's and I just was like, oh, you hear it enough, you just start. Okay, maybe I do. Well, so. see, since this is a deja vu moment, uh, I, I, I thought Jessica Beale as well, but I, I went out and got a new one, and her name is uh, Shannon and Elizabeth. Y'all remember her like off of Apple Pie. Yeah. American people Pie. Say that too. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, Shannon, I would say both of them. <laughs> I, I like Shannon and Elizabeth. That's what we go with. I don't even know if Shannon Elizabeth is still acting and uh, um, you know, doing some stuff, but um, I'm, I'm, hopefully we can afford her. I know we can't get Justin Bieber. I Bill. think Shannon Elizabeth would do it, B. Jones. I don't think she's doing anything right now. <laughs> uh, just to be honest with you. Yeah, she might but be it, open. Yeah, it's a lady. She played on True Blood. She's been in a lot of stuff. Her name is like Janina Gavin Carr or something like that. I'm going to send you a picture of her later. Okay. I, I think we could get her too, B. Jones, because most of the shows okay. she gets on, yeah. they get canceled, so she's probably <laughs> looking for work. So we probably can get her on. All right, Coach. So this is probably the most important. I didn't throw myself off of that. Important question. <laughs> no, she, she, she she <laughs> we had an advocate in our head. She was like, oh, somebody thought about me, and then you just ruined it. You killed her in the, in the same sentence. The last one series, B. Jones, they got canceled. I mean, do we want our show to get canceled? No, no, we don't. We don't. No. Yeah. All right, so this is probably the most important question during this initiation. B. Jones and I, we love to travel, and we travel, we got to eat. So what's that one food spot you're going to recommend when we come kick with you, and what's that your go-to meal there? I am a breakfast girl. I like brunch. Um, 
so god there's so many i just went to one um toast it was really good um there's so many breakfast spots there's breakfast at barney's here is good um there was there was a really cool rooftop place i mean Atlanta is really good restaurants that you don't know, but I would probably take you guys definitely to brunch. Um, I, toast, like the sound of toast. Toast. I like the sound um, of toast. I like the sound of toast. Yeah. I Let's just went um, with the Georgia coaches on Sunday. So last Sunday. So they, it was good. It was really good. Hey, so just you in with, case. You were in the Keisha sales? I was just yeah, about to say that. That is one of oh KT's favorite players of all time. He, he yeah, gushes I over. Told, I even told her this when we met her. And she told us she was going to do our show. She sure did. She sure did. Right, so you should let me call her right now. Hey, hey we we going to get on the show, but uh, now look at I'm calling her because like B. Jones scared of you. I'm kind of afraid of her. So, uh, <laughs> hey, you me know, you her know. and I have the same birthday, uh, May 10th. Me and her, really? like, yeah, she just yeah, she was just here. We that's that's my ace. She, That's uh, super dope. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. um, we got we got two signees for the University of Georgia. So it's funny because I was talking to their mom uh, recently, uh, Sama and India Davis. They are both uh-huh. signed to go to Georgia, and they, they were talking about the Georgia staff. So shout out to the Georgia staff. Yeah. They're doing big things. That team is going to be hell yeah. to mess with here in the next couple Third of years. Yeah. 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 But go about us. If, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> we'll see you on the show. I just don't want her to call you on the show and you... I, I can I'm take the kind of rejection I'm doing. Yeah, tell her. I haven't seen you the picture that we took with her. We, we did, did, you get a did you guys ever get Larry Golar? Nope, we, did, we didn't get Larry either. All right, I'm on both of them. All right. Oh, oh, let's go. Well, see, I, I've never heard of that name before, B. Jones. So how we would got him? I don't understand what you're talking about. There. Yeah, that's kind of confusion. All right, so get ready to shoot the breeze with the true champion of the hardwood. Our next guest has not only perfected the art of the crossover, but has also mastered the science of turning a group of players into a well-oiled basketball machine. So grab your virtual tickets courtside as we welcome the extraordinary coach, Coach Sasha Palmer, for a slam dunk discussion on our podcast stage. So E. Jones, in- reintroduce the nation to our play cousin. Coach Sasha Palmer, welcome to the show. Welcome to the Sports Life Talk family. We're about to, we're about to give them the blueprint today, Coach. We're gonna give them everything that they need to understand what you got cooking and uh, and, and some of the, the 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 waves that you have made in the women's basketball game and why we consider you to truly be a icon and a legend. But let's take them back to to Wisconsin, Coach. Let's go back to the very beginning. Let's tell them your story, Coach. When did you start playing basketball? basketball or when did you fall in love with the game oh um you know i didn't play as a kid i had i'm a middle girl between two boys uh, i have two brothers and we played in rural wisconsin with no cell phones i played football and baseball so i didn't really start playing basketball till a little bit in high school and then i actually was recruited off my the coach that i played for came and saw me play volleyball so um but then i just became an all-american in college and and that's how, kind of how my my story started with basketball. I just became really good then in college, and and then went to play pro, and now I'm coaching it. So, Coach, you, yeah. you've accomplished so much. This this 30 minute window that we have to sit down with you, it ain't it ain't large enough. We we probably have to do like a Sasha Palmer part one, part two, or part three because you are doing so many different things. But you yeah. just caught my attention with the football. That football makes a lot of sense, Coach, because you are a serious, 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 serious person. Um, you are all American, but because you've accomplished so much on the other side of your career, what what made you decide to 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 put the ball down and start coaching, Coach? Um, when I came back from overseas, a, a job, a Division Two job opened in Pennsylvania, and I got my first head job at 27, and kind of just, I like to teach and coach, and just, like I said before, you win in life with people, and it was just a good career path, and you, you know, you question yourself sometimes, is this what I want to do, and then I just, it just kept going to Syracuse, to University of Wisconsin, to Georgia Tech, and now I'm on the grassroots side, and you know, it's it's just been a, a really good, I just love it. Um, you know, I went from when I left college to third graders with my daughter, and it was just, you find different levels of love. It's more pure at that age. It's not dealing with parents. It's, you know, it's um, the egos, but it's just good. Now I love the grassroots side, and I'm a builder, and I like to build programs um, and try to help. So, but. <laughs> That's a unique perspective because that's one of the reasons why we love you, Coach, why we reached out. We wanted to get you in the first place because I fall in love with grassroots as well. But when I look back at your resume, 
you you've been on all sides of it, right? From the high school side, from the training side, from the AAU side, from the Division One college Power Five. We talking about you coached some of the the biggest and baddest institutions in the country, and yet no matter what you touch, coach, you got that Midas touch. No matter what it is. You turn it so. no. Pe- people are going. People recognize you as a builder of programs. You, you like Khaleesi, the builder of programs. The, the <laughs> you you can you can do it all, Coach. But what's that secret sauce? What what is that one element that Sasha Palmer brings to any team, any organization that allows them to, to be set up for success and to find find uh, success in whatever they they choose to do? Uh, like I said, it's the people. I, I don't do people wrong. I try to meet all types of people, and I'm a grinder. I will work sun up to sundown to, if someone tells me to call, I'm going to call you. Tell me to call you at three, I'm calling you at three. So, you know, I, I, I hold myself accountable. So I follow through. I think that's the biggest thing. And, and you don't stop. You just have to stay persistent with it. Um, consistent and persistent just to, um, you know, if you, they, I, and I don't like, no, I'm not a good, I'm not good with no, but you're going to get a lot of no's and I just keep at them. So probably annoying to some people, but I call it persistent. <laughs> Now you 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 you've done so much. Like you just dropped, we just dropped Nikisha Sales, and for those who people in Texas, they probably know about Nikisha. I mean, she's a, a just a, a tremendous All American. She she's done so much. You've done so much. Do do you see like the evolution of the game as women's basketball growing and growing and it's getting bigger? Do you see individuals like yourself who are right here on the grassroots? Do you see you guys uh, able to get more exposure to help more? Right? You know, you know what I'm saying. Do you see yourself growing a platform? For others to look up to you and be like, okay, this is where we get it from. This is where it started. This is how it all began. And it started in a gym somewhere right there in Atlanta, right? Where you you took on some of these amazing players when they were pe- – people don't – AAU starts when these kids are like seven, eight years old. And you guys groom them up all the way. But that's where that's where the WNBA started was right there in a the small gym working with scouts, working with trainers and individuals like yourself. Do you see the success of the league transitioning into more opportunities for individuals like yourself? Uh, absolutely. You know, this is why I, you know, yesterday at the South Carolina game, I'm sitting right behind their bench. You know, we have Camilla, Raven, Ashlyn, Coach Malaysia, Full Wiley. They're all, you know, we, we've been, you know, I, I, my Camilla's watching my kids after the game at her apartment. You just build relationships with everybody. And it's absolutely, you, you have connections with Don Staley and the coaches, you know, from who's in it right now, um, to Alabama, to LSU, to you know, we have kids in every team to North Carolina. So you just, you keep building, you keep making those relationships. And as long as we keep putting out the product, but I'm a big believer in mentality. So I don't teach our kids to go in the transfer portal, like find the right institution, you know, and, and mentality, anything, you know, winning is mentality. So that's what we teach them. Um, so our kids are thriving at the next level. And hopefully that translates from us. You know, we try to make it, but yeah, I do see it. Women's basketball is coming so far. It's awesome right now. Um, you know, we're watching the Iowa game right now and it's packed. South Carolina pack was packed yesterday with 18,000 fans. So, I mean, it's awesome. Now you uh you, t- you you mentioned some of the full wildies and some of those all Americans that came up through through your previous AAU program, but you just signed on to take on a new challenge. And and anytime you take on a new challenge, I mean it's like you got to start from scratch. It's like scorched earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to yeah. plant the seeds. You got to, you got to, you know, foster new relationships. You got to cultivate new grounds. What, what has this, this transition process been like? And what, what are your expectations as this program progresses? Cause if we all, everybody else is on baby breath. Like what is Sasha Palmer about to do next? So, you know, it's Nike. We're one of three Jordan brands across the country. Um, we're just playing on the Nike YBL circuit. So yeah, Transition is, is hard, it's a change, um, but the hard, I think, is what makes it great. You know, if it wasn't hard, everybody would be doing it. That's what we've heard, you know, many times. But it's hard at first. It, it takes time to recruit and, and, and groom those kids and get this, their system down, but um, it's the fun part of it, too. So, um, but you can get into the, they have CP3 camps everywhere, you know, that it's, like I said, it's the, I want to try the EYBL. My daughter, they, they started the junior EYBL this year, so my daughter could play that. So it's just a different, you know, at FBC, I've had 12 McDonald's All-Americans in the last five years since I've been there. So we won three out of four Under Armour Championships. So it's a great run. And you never know, we might come back together. We might, you know, do something bigger. There might be bigger business in it. Um, so, you know, that they're always family. And I'm still here helping them. But, you know, I want to try some Nike in my life. We'll see. 
That's dope. We consider yeah. you a superhero coach, and the fact that you got two kids and you're able to handle such a rigorous schedule is uh, is just absolutely amazing. How, you, you talked about structure early in this show and being organized and being disciplined. What what is the what does the day in the life look like for Sasha Palm? I mean, you got so many businesses. You got you got a um, what do you call it a a, a a fund? You know what what is it called? A nonprofit? I mean, you My you're foundation. doing some yeah foundation. You're doing so many different things like. How do you keep a, 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 a the reins on a day? Like how do you how do you get sleep at night? <laughs> well, <laughs> we didn't get back from South Carolina till like eleven thirty last night. Um, my kids are up for school and they say it's just it's just that grind. Um, and I'm a believer in sleep because I, I want to be fresh the next day. I take my vitamins. I work out in the morning. I you know um, all with a two year old on my hip. But you just figure it out. I do a lot of office work in the morning. I try to do something on each thing each day. Um, and AirPods saved my life with phone calls. I'm on the phone a lot. <laughs> so, but <laughs> you just, like I said, I'm just very persistent every day with everything. And I, I have a lot of structure. So T tell yeah. us a little bit about blueprint scouting coach. Um, blueprint started established was established in 2020. Uh, it's just to help kids. Like I take kids. I can't eat. I was on a college road trip this, this winter. I've gone to Vanderbilt to, to South Carolina, to Florida state, to North Carolina, to, everywhere to Georgia, to Georgia Tech. We go to a bunch of games. I take kids um, to, at Tennessee. They got to uh, go back with Coach Harper in the locker room pregame. Um, they get tours. They get, you know, each school is different. So it's just about helping kids get recruited. Um, you know, with the product that we have put out with the mentality, we have, you know, national freshmen of the year to national champions to player of the years. You know, college coaches, I hope, respect what we what we put out. So it's just getting, you know, and it, I'm so used to it, but a lot of parents and kids don't know the recruiting process. So that's what the blueprint is, just um, informational, educating them, taking them to campuses, meeting the staffs, seeing the campuses, you know, going to camps. So we now, have a whole online system of it. So that can I be your your assistant coach? Can I? Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I want to try a little little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. We went to TCU last time. We've been to we've been to Baylor, SMU, Wait a TCU. Now I'm mad. Now I'm mad, now I'm mad coach. You ca you came to TCU and SMU and you you didn't hit up Sports Life Talk. Um, this was like. A year or two. Oh, okay, okay, you. okay. Uh, you ain't know us then. Nah, right. There was still no excuse. <laughs> you shouldn't know who we were then, and we not letting off the hook. I you definitely would have hit you guys up. Nah, you, you, you gonna be back, Coach. You gonna be back. We, we, gotta, we gotta figure out a way to kick it with you, but y'all y'all can tell Coach is a very serious individual. Who, who's somebody you look up to, Coach? You don't just accidentally become great. Um, who, who's, a, who's a coach, an organizer? You, you already mentioned a couple of big names on here. This this is a, a, a very, very uh, high level show you know what i'm talking about we getting close kt but but coach who's somebody that you had the opportunity to work with or even even if you just studied them in a book or far who, who's somebody you look up to that allowed you to to create the, the the sasha palmer effect you know i think it's all the good ones and all i'm not gonna say bad ones all the hard ones i think i've taken some from each one that have made me who i am i can't really just pick one i like i said i keep saying you win in life with people I'm very observant. I study people. Even the ones that I, I, I wasn't necessarily my favorite, I take what I didn't like to, to you know, so I know what I don't want to do. So I kind of just take, you know, I look up to all co coaches. Um, you know, Brooke Wyckoff at, at Florida State is my son's godmother. She's one of my best friends. Um, you know, I have a lot of Adrian, the North Carolina assistant coach, Adrian Walters is one of my great friends. Like, so I have a lot of, um, people that I talk to every day that teach me a lot of just jewels um, and I watch and I want to learn from them, and then I watch people that oh I don't want to be like that so it's kind of a, 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 a gathering of people that I, I but it's just coaches coaches men female um, you know I played for a male but I, I respect a lot in the women's game of just being around females too so that women empowerment so Right now, it's just it's awesome for women's basketball. So I'm taking things from everybody. Um, Gino texted me the other day; he's coming to Atlanta in April. We're gonna meet. Um, so it's just, I mean, I have I've learned from everybody. I take it from everybody. Y'all thought I was playing when I told y'all she was. They, they thought I was joking. To KT, they didn't realize that it was pure we heel. Gotta on. We, we gotta we oh, gotta put some ice out there. Just. No, we gotta uh, put some ice out there. B Jones, the Florida State coach. Show, yep. 
Coach she White. Was twice. She was like, hey, I'm coming to the show. So there's two phone calls you got now. Nah, they be, they be super bad. busy. Coach, we know y'all busy. We know y'all busy. Yeah, we do. We no, do. I, promise you, I promise you I do. All right, Coach, coach last question. And now she has, she's, she, they're done. So she has some free time. I know that broke my heart too. I, I had him going to the Sweet Sixteen just because I like Coach. But, but we also, you know, Coach Ferrara. I uh, we, we had him going pr- pretty far. But uh, but all right, here we go, Coach. Last question: the the uh, the parental side, as you may say, has become a absolute chaos. I, I don't know if it's because these parents are not educating themselves on the process. I don't know if it's because they just so caught in the I want my child to have the dream and you know what I mean? It's tough on, on these, some of these programs and the referees and the coaches because the parents' expectations are absolutely through the roof. Uh, my question or what I would like for you to do is give these parents a little bit of advice on how to pick an AAU program and what what is the parents' role or what you feel should be the parents role as in guidance to help these individuals to make good decisions in, in regards to colleges aau programs and things of that nature so that they can ensure and feel good at night about their decisions that where they've sent their daughter or their son well as a parent it is tough and i know it's tough to watch your kid and not be able to say anything and it's not that you can't but you know i'm a big respect thing you have to listen to your coach culture wins culture is everything so um find the right fit um don't choose it for anything but what you want it for not what your friends want it for not what your your uncle wants it for but what you want it for because that you're the one that has to be there whether it's an au program or college you know this transfer portal portal is crazy and it's there's a transfer portal of aau because you didn't make the decision on the right on the right things so you know um ask questions educate yourself on the recruiting process um, don't wait too long. Go to um, exposures, everything. So go to the right events. What AAU programs go to the right exposure events for the college coaches? Um, who's going to get the college coaches there? Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of factors, but ask questions. Um, an AAU program that educates you is a good AAU program. Uh, yeah. Instead of just filling the roster spot. It, y'all heard it from a, y'all heard it from one of the best. Y'all heard it from an absolute goat. You better ask some questions. But coach, you ready to answer some questions yourself? You're, you ready? ready to answer? Hey, let's go. Team. Welcome to yes. the championship round. This is the part of the show with KT and I. We're going to play a little one-on-one, and you are now officially calling all the shots. Okay, Coach, this is our version of would you rather. We're going to go three rounds in true championship round fashion, and each round, Kevin and I are going to give Coach an option, a scenario, or so to speak. Whichever one of those options Coach takes, that host will get a point, and the first host to get two points will win this episode's game of championship round so ultimately since the fact that we, we botched the moment of truth kt one of us is going to be tremendously tremendously hurt <laughs> in the next 10 minutes or the next five minutes all right kt you are the defend oh i'm the defending champ <laughs> the audacity oh my goodness here we go round number one You've already accomplished grassroots championships and you started some stuff on the on the college uh, fi- uh, college front. My question to you, coach, is I'm about to give you a WNBA franchise, coach. You're going to be able to pick whichever city in the country you want, but we're going to plant the roots. We're going to start this program and you are going to go 30 years with a WNBA program that is going to have success. Now, I'm not guaranteeing rings. We're just going to say success over a 30-year period and you are the owner of this WNBA uh, team or? Coach, there's a player out there that everyone gave up on them but you. They make it to the Basketball Hall of Fame and then their speech tells you they wouldn't be there without your love and guidance. Um... I made it hard this time. I made it hard for you this time. Thank you, Coach. Let's go. WNBA. Because I already know that they should. I, I, I mean, I don't need that recognition. I, we already know how what we impact the kids' lives. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go build that WNBA for her. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, I finally you. got one. I finally got round one underneath my belt. Everybody want to help the kid, Coach. Everybody, if I could just get one that says I oh, changed. I mean, I mean, we know we know Coach helps the kids, but my scenario. <laughs> She's like, man, forget them kids. I'm going to WNBA. No, I I, I'm joking, Coach. I'm joking. I'm joking. Coach, your program going to change. 
thousands of kids' lives. Think about that. That WNBA program is going, you're going yeah. you to put out people all over the place. All right, here we go. Round number two. You starting on a new Endeavor coach. Um, and uh, now you got, now you got the CP3 flames. Y'all about to, uh, to do some big things. So my question to you in this scenario is that uh, we're going to get a camera crew following you around coach everywhere you go we are literally going to watch sasha palmer do her thing waking up in the morning on your air on your airpods working on the in the traveling in the booth interacting with coaches from all around the country uh and we are basically going to uh do this documentary and put it all out there for the world to see on netflix or host your own traveling food show for espnw where you get to interview the likes of the Don Staley's, uh, Brooke from Florida State, just some of the dopest coaches in the nation while eating at some of the best restaurants in the world. Katie. I can't believe I could sway you. <laughs> I'm a traveler and I'm a, I, I, I'm a foodie, so I'm going to go to those restaurants. Uh. Yeah, I mean, those are good. Those are both very good ones. That that's tough because, but I'm a private person. I don't really know if I want a day in the life. I'm, I'm starting. You know what? The most of the successful people. That's what they say. They say, "Man, we I worked hard to create this. I don't want to let the no, world no, know." No, well, no, yeah, no. yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what I do. They just got to figure it out on their own. All right, KT, round three. All right, so for round three, get ready to step into the sneaker arena where every shoe tells a story. The only story we care about, B. Jones. I think you'll agree with this. Is who wins this episode's game of championship rounds. So, Coach Palmer, I'm going to count down from three. And when I do that, I need for you to say, hold that sneaker. And we're going to show you the shoes that we brought today that we feel represents you. Okay? Got it. All right. You ready? Three, two, one. Hold that sneaker. Dang. See, oh, but- <sighs> Okay, can I say this? Can I do I ha- can I say uh, can I say I'm gonna go with KT's only because I don't like those wow. colors. But, I, but listen to me, I like that shoe better. So that's a tough <sighs> one. I gotta kind of go with you both. Like the one, she just didn't like the color. I, well, I, I don't like the, the colors. I picked that, the WNBA. That, that you got you got those are. You, you put so many people in the WNBA. I was like, she got to go with the WNBA black and orange. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Uh, that no. hurts. I got 40 different no, pairs no, of I, I mean, you both pick J's, and now I'm a Jordan school. You both pick J's, but I'm going to go with that shoe. But I, the colors, you know, I'm a Packer fan. I'm Bucks. I'm, I'm, I'm <sighs> even red and black with Jordan. You had no orange for like that. I know. I know. I screwed you know? that up. I screwed that up. Congratulations. That's okay, but the shoe, you, you picked a good shoe. <laughs> you picked a real good shoe, B. Jones. You have the pink and the purples, you know. Look at your colors that you got on the screen. I mean, well, you, you, you remember in Deja Vu, I picked a pair of sneakers that was uh, that were a little uh, Easterish, and I got oh, booed I like, off the stage. I like, stage. Those I like shoes. You just you know, who got this Deja Vu stuff? You man, this is my first time. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time seeing Coach Palm. <laughs> you know, you know, Deja Vu? What are you talking about? You both want it. Look, Coach, 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 Coach,
Well, it's I'm gonna give a shout out to all my Atlanta family here, and then my, you know, my new family with CP3. Let's do it. All right, Coach. So this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B Jones and KT. Uh, I told them my story. I want you to do the same thing. With that said, Coach, who you calling out? Who should have next? I'm calling out uh, Brooke Wyckoff and Nikisha Sales. <sighs> I just got tingly, totally B Jones. I don't know why, man. I know. I'm, I'm gonna call out you guys after this. I'm gonna text them after I get oh, off. Oh my goodness. I'm Coach Coach Brooke, Coach Nikisha. Y'all, y'all are true icons. We, we would be blessed to have y'all on the show. But and those two y'all play together in the WNBA. They, I think really? They were really yeah. But, but, yeah. But since I'm the mouth of the South, let the world know that you are up next. Your ticket got punched, and you two are officially on the clock. We got to get y'all on the show in the year to mama so we can tell y'all amazing stories and bless the world with what you guys are doing. And uh, we're looking forward to that. KT, hey, look. Whatever we got to do, Kevin, do do your job at a high level, baby. We got to do the Sasha Palmer thing and get them people on the show. But Coach Palmer, you got next. You a lioness, Coach. You a icon. You a trailblazer, a pioneer, an all American. You, you you are the salt of the earth, a genuine, authentic one of one. There's nobody like you out there in the game, Coach Palmer. You are extraordinary and elite. You deserve a yeet. Oh, we I love this job. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all enjoyed that episode as much as we do. Thank you again for watching and supporting the show. We appreciate everything you guys are doing. We know that the, the SLT family is growing and it's only because of you. So let's let's raise our glasses one more time and become the MVP of this show. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button and send this show to as many people as you possibly can. If you in the see B3 organization. We expect y'all to show us some love because Coach Palmer is the truth and we're going to make sure we blast y'all out as much as we possibly can and tap in with us. Kevin and I got a lot of content planned for you guys over the summer. We're going to be doing some traveling. We're going to be, we gonna actually go, we're going to get y'all some quest side footage of the CP3 Flames when we get up there to Louisville at the Nike tournament. So y'all make sure y'all buckle up. Uh, Ask Sports Life Talk, all one word. And uh, we got we got so much stuff coming your way and guests like today are live up throughout the year and you just heard we got two more two more uh, amazing individuals and coach coach sales and coach wyckoff so y'all buckle up and if you uh want to be on the show now listen shasha palmer is it's this 30 this 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 down here didn't happen overnight okay we know that everybody can't be uh as elite like that but listen we we know that there's millions of stories out there that need to be told and if you got one of those stories that need to be on our platform go to our website slt you got next.com click on the nominate tab and tell us a little bit why you feel like you got next and why you feel like you're a mamba and kt gonna reach out to you and set you up an audition to be on the show listen i'm a podcast junkie and whenever i'm on the road I like listening to the show so make sure you take you got next on the road in the car in the gym in the in in the kitchen wherever you listen to your podcast you can download our show with over 400 I think we probably over 500 episodes have been recorded to date all in the audio format and continue to listen to the smooth sultry sounds of the mouth of the South B Jones and the head coach KT Kev congratulations man you you won I'm a little bit hurting about it but it's all good it's all good man I, I enjoy your pain, B. Jones, but man, oh, I'm, is, in pain. It, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm enjoying it, but hey, this has been a great episode, Coach. Thank you so much for rocking with us. You well, guys if you are need from us, Thank you. Please let us know, and we got your back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contact y'all about next week if you're around. All if right. You know, hey, you got my number. Hey, yeah, yeah Coach, make, let's make that happen. And I'm going to tell you, last thing, Coach Sasha Palmer, you a savage. Classy, <laughs> boozy, ratchet. <laughs> That's well, the only part. <laughs> no, I'm just no so thank, thank you, guys. I appreciate it so much. No, we fun. thank you, Coach. You the truth. You the truth. We, and thank you for blessing our program. We love you, Coach. Sports Life Talk Nation, we love you, too. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another because together we Oh, better and keep dreaming big family because you never know your story may be the next one featured on sports life talks you got next yeet 
I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just, I knew you got next. You did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest, show like the baddest. Hut in the room, podcast is tuning to just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom, you want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, is a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be.